All right, so here's the one that should be able to do PS3, Xbox One, and my Stadia controller. Uh, this should be a two-pack. And when I say it should be able to do these, I don't mean all at the same time. Each holder is going to be one. Uh, the Xbox One, I actually have a charger off to the side that those usually sit on and charge, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, I also have one for the PS4, but it's not near my desk, so I usually keep one over by my desk anyways, uh, because I do have a, a PlayStation View TV that I can use this with if I want to do remote play. So that one would be one that would get hung up. Um, maybe my wired Xbox 360, because that gets used with my computer a lot over here. But the Stadia Founders Edition is a big one I want to. I really like the looks of this. Uh, whether you like Stadia or not, it's still, uh, from a collecting standpoint, this is still a cool controller. Um, really bad design, the fact they didn't put any screws in it, though. So hopefully nothing ever happens to it, because taking one of these apart, as far as I know, is not real doable. So here we go. Uh, this came in the same package as my... Uh, switch hanger, which was in my previous video. If you're curious about that, I actually hung my switch on the wall and also uh, the controller. And uh, so go back and check out that last video if you want to see that. Because my goal is to actually hang up, hang up all my consoles eventually. All my main generation consoles. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be hanging my Atari 2600 on the wall or NES or anything like that. Well, eh, not that I'm planning on all right, so that's an empty box out of there. O prior or O prior, I don't know, but they have a few different versions. Uh, installation guide. All right, so not as fancy as the uh, last one, but let's see here. Clean the mounting surface, ensure it's clean and dry. Attach 3M tape to the back. Press the product firmly on the mounting area and hold it for a few seconds. Maybe we should get this closer. Wait at least 24 hours for max strength. 3M tape cannot be used with water, dust, unevenness, and fragile wallpaper mounting surface, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's interesting. I didn't know it was coming with 3M tape. Um, I actually I actually have an auto body degree. I used to work on cars and have an auto body business. And 3M tape is um, actually what you use for all your molding on your car is pretty much held on with 3M tape. I mean, there are exceptions. Uh, in fact, I want to say, I don't know what website of mine it is. I have another channel that I, I don't really do anything on anymore. I do everything on palm buttons. I don't have enough time for everything else, but I own shaky studios and shakyfilms.com. And if you're wondering why, look how much I shake. Um, but I actually have a video of, uh, putting the molding back on my son's van that was peeling off on the top and it's three end tape. And here we go. We got four pieces of 3M tape. This stuff does stick. So if you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I trust that. Um, go with what you're comfortable with. But personally, I, I will trust it. Uh, one of the things is is actually hitting it kind of activates it. Um, it's kind of weird, but all right, moving on. So these are both exactly the same, I'm guessing. But we'll open both just to make sure. These are not metal like the Switch ones were. These are acrylic, which I have absolutely no problem with. That is not a judgment either way. The acrylic actually is kind of nice and shiny. I do like that. Um, they're pretty straightforward. So it fits width-wise pretty good. Back-wise, this is one of the things they did talk about, um, is that you'll see the bumpers here, the triggers, are not going to touch the wall. And that is nice, um, especially on these. The Nintendo, if you did watch the Switch one um, before this, you'll see that it did actually touch the wall, and that was a concern of mine. But we did the Wisconsin um, earthquake test, so we're good. But yeah, that fits on there. There's plenty of room. That was the Stadia Founder Edition. Let's try an Xbox One. There's no reason to believe... Uh, 361 is not going to work. There's actually really no reason to believe none of these are going to work, but that's on there pretty good. The, actually, the Xbox One fits really nicely. Let's take a look at the PlayStation 4, and that is sloppy. That is really, really sloppy. Um, oh, hang on a second. Maybe I'm just not catching it right. Yep, there we go. I'm just not catching it right. Nice thing is that didn't touch. You know what? I didn't check the Xbox One. Oh, that's a nice fit. They are a really good fit on the Xbox One. 
I'd say the Stadia controller would be a very close second. And the PlayStation one, once you have the PlayStation where it's, it wants to kind of slide forward, but there is a little catch right there. And there it's not sliding forward. And that is fine for me. And that is not, not touching there. So that will work. Um, all right, so let's get these hung up and actually see how they really do look. Uh, you'll notice here too, and I do like this for charging reasons. Um, you know, the Stadia has USB-C for charging, whoop, top there. And of course, on top here, you got your, uh, is that the micro mini? We'll say micro, if I'm wrong, I'll be corrected. Uh, USB for charging. And then you also have this if you have a charging one. Uh, I do have a charging one in here, but these, I don't hang my Xbox Ones, uh, which is really a shame. I'm They really fit these nice, but who knows, maybe. Uh, but then you got these two, come with three end tape. And these are for pinching wires in. Let me just grab a wire here. There you go. All right, so there's some good slide in there. This isn't the thinnest cable or the thickest. It's a, probably a good in-between cable. And let me grab a thicker one here, my USB extender. This is a braided USB-C. And that, actually, that has some travel in there, too. And that's a pretty good size cable, too. That's actually really nice because you don't want the grip you want it to have some play um and if i was hanging it i'm guessing that's got the most pull that way well, that's got some pretty good there too so maybe i don't know do you want breakaway or do you not want breakaway i think i'd go this way because if it falls really hard Maybe I do want that to break away out of there. But if it falls slightly, this will kind of slow it down. If I go sideways, it's not coming out at all. And maybe that's the option too. The question is, is it better to damage the port or the controller? And obviously you'd almost say the port because, you know, there's ways of taking care of that. Well, actually there isn't. Like the Stadia. Yeah, I don't know. So basically, is the port stronger or the controller stronger? That's up to the person who's doing it. I'll figure out the way I'm going to do it when I hang them. So let's do that. Let's get them hung up. So in my last video, I was going to hang my switch that I put on the wall next to my network switch just because, you know, I thought that'd be kind of funny, a switch by a switch. I have a weird sense of humor. But I decided this is where I'm going to put my controls uh, because I got because I got a two uh, pair of them. If it works out, I might get more, and I wanted to be able to stagger them out. Uh, so the hard part's gonna be getting them all on there. And I did I did wipe down the wall already. Looks like I go either way. I'm gonna go the long way. And my reasoning behind that is for just the pressure down the um kind of talked about this in the last video with the switch, um, but it's like the shear. Um, in fact, like screws, bolts, things like that have a shear strength to them. So let's get the other one here. We'll go ahead and put that one on too. And then the part I am horribly nervous about doing incorrectly. So I have an idea. I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, that switch is just in the way. I guess I can go over the top of it, which that will work fine. So what I'm gonna do is find a level point here. And then I'm gonna try to use, use that to um, put these up. Spacing, I'm not horribly concerned about. In fact, I want it a little lower down. All right, so I picked some random controllers here. We'll go with the 360. That actually sits up there pretty good. Xbox One, that one sits up there really good. That falls right in there. Let's see if I pull that forward a bit. That actually rests pretty good too if you pull it in forward, but it wants to kind of sit back, but still on there good. PlayStation 3. Feels pretty good on there. 
see what else can I throw up there. Let's go with a PlayStation Classic controller. Yeah, it's a little wobbly, but what happens if we put the cord behind it? Well, actually, it pushes it forward a bit, and that will keep it up there. So you've got a Stadia controller. We'll put that here. And let's see. Got a this is a really wide banded headset for the PlayStation. That actually fits on there pretty good. Let's take that down. Then we'll have a narrow banded headset here. My uh, Logitech. Actually, I think I could go this way because it sticks out far enough. Pull the virtual boy out a little bit here so it's hanging properly. Yeah, actually I got lucky with the spacing right there too. That works good. There's a pretty heavy keyboard and I'd have to go lower with it because it touches my uh, where my tablet's mounted. Well, actually that doesn't actually bother me too much. Maybe I would just leave it like that. Or, well, I plan on getting more of these. This is pretty heavy though. And I actually did have this on there already and kind of left it on for a while. Um, and it's holding really well because, you know, these are not screwed in. They're just 3M taped. It's heavier on the bottom. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, it actually fits a little bit better because of how it's resting up against the pen holder here. All right. All right, so when I'm not using my gaming keyboard because I'm using my Bluetooth one, I'll have to do some different wire management, but... Actually, we'll just move it over here a bit, even though I wouldn't leave it hanging. Well, actually, I probably could. It's actually all right. That actually follows the curve really well. Um, that works. Yeah, I will definitely be getting more of these. I think I'm definitely going to be pleased with these. Uh, I know I say the link or the products in the link below or description below, whatever. And the reason I do that is because... Uh, you really do help out the channel if you order an item. Even if you click on a link and order something else, it helps us out. And it actually doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just an affiliate link we have, so it is greatly appreciated. And um, other than that, I hope you like it. I do plan on getting more of these. Um, but yeah, thanks.